Ali Aksan Shishakli. He is the co-founder of the Maram Foundation for Belief and Development. He joins us now from Gaziantep in Turkey. Thanks so much for being with us. You actually work uh, you. with camps on the border, so I'm assuming that keeping uh, those borders open to aid relief shipments is very important to organizations like, th like yours. Uh, tell us what you might be losing if uh, this agreement is not extended. Well, definitely it's so important. And before it's important for our organization able to deliver the aid, it's so important to the people in the camps and inside, even behind the camp. We're talking Idlib for over 4 million people in need for, in dire need for the aid. And we're talking about other areas in the Euphrates Shield area where there is a big need. So not renewing the resolution will really put us in very difficult and hard uh, situation and position to deliver the aid. We're talking about hundreds of tons of food delivering to the people. People, after nine years of war, are very tired. And we start seeing like malnutrition cases between the children and others, and adults and women. And this is really big. I mean, people should not be waiting for renewal of the resolution. The resolution should be for granted. But I mean, again, we know Russia is not her first or second veto. It's her 15th veto since the start of the Syrian war. What, what is your impression, though? Why do you think they are actually vetoing this? Well, what they're trying to do is very obvious. They're trying to push the aid to Damascus government to help the Damascus government to stand or on its feet because they have difficulty in the economic crisis and because of the Caesar Act as well. I mean, but this is not fair because the Damascus government is part of this war. We, and they use aid as a weapon. We've seen that in the Rukban camp. We've seen that in Sanguta, we've seen that in Zabadani. So we cannot give them the control of aid because we're really sure they will not be able and they will not be, they don't want to deliver the aid to northern Syria and as a punishment. And this is where we have the argument with the Russian as well. Right. If something, though, actually isn't sorted by Friday when this agreement expires, how quickly and how badly will the immediate situation actually deteriorate? Well, first, first of all, people will under stress just waiting for the approval. But again, I mean, uh, where I work at Marana Foundation, we did work before the uh, resolution in 2014. We're going to continue working. And uh, as the UN agencies, they have also plan B, but we'll, we'll not be able to deliver the same amount of aid to the people of need. And what we're working today to increase the aid, not to go less in the aid delivery. Yaksan Shishakli, we're going to have to leave it there, really. Thank you so much for being with us from Gaziantep.